Hello, this is Greg from Camnetics. I'm here to show you how worm gear teeth can be created in SOLIDWORKS using GearTech. I have a default worm gear set here and let's go and create the set in SOLIDWORKS. Creating the revolve, we're creating the tooth cut and then the pattern and then it will create the worm and then the assembly okay let's look at this assembly here now this is being created without the um, uh, teeth being created with the advanced setting so let's go to the uh, interference detection and we'll see uh, the number of interferences that have been created with this method. So we have a whole bunch of interferences here. This would not work if you were to create um, these things on a CNC or rapid prototyping. So let's get rid of these and go back to gear attack and now I'm going to go to the options and uh, change the create worm gear with advanced tooth to true and then I'll click back to the the part and then go to CAD again and we'll create the um, the models and the assembly and uh, let's watch it in SOLIDWORKS so I created the worm revolve that was a hob now it's adding the hob to an uh, intermediate assembly and then it will cut those into the part and it's creating half the tooth and then your tech will create will make a circular pattern of that tooth to create the other half of the tooth Okay, it's cutting the second half of the tooth. Okay, now it's creating the worm. Okay, the second worm gear set is created. Okay, here's our assembly in SOLIDWORKS. Let's take a look at that advanced tooth profile. We can um, look at it here. That's what the tooth cut looks like. Now let's do the interference detection on it. Now we will have a bunch of interferences, but we're primarily interested in the area where the advanced tooth cut happened. So we don't really care about this one or that one or those. There's a little bit of interference there. Very small amount. Let's open this part up. And that's what the tooth cut looks like in uh, SOLIDWORKS. Thank you very much.